Hello, Ray Roof here, and today I want to talk to you about some of the software for the Apple Macintosh that was big and very well received during the PowerPC days, that is, before the switch to the Intel processor. Now there are several, and as you've seen in previous videos, my favorite, Apple Works 5 and eventually 6, uh, during the Performa and later with the Apple Macintosh series, the Performa series, and some of the iMacs, this software suite, uh, sweet, I don't know, it's sweet, sweet. <laughs> this software package was one of the best of its kind. In my, in my opinion, it's the best ever made, but anyway. Another thing that was good during the party, now we still have Adobe Photoshop, obviously, but Adobe Photoshop 7. This is software package that lasted me very many years. I, my first Photoshop was version 5.5, and then I upgraded to 7.0, and I used 7.0 until, until basically the computer, the update, the newer versions of the Mac OS no longer supported 7.0, which, again, that's happened with two software packages a lot. One of the things I liked about Adobe Photoshop, or the book, is it came with this chart, and it's a really, I mean, considering everything Adobe Photoshop does, it kind of condenses it down into basically six pages, but this is every feature of Adobe Photoshop. It's on three little pages. I wish they made it one one big poster. I'd rather have one big poster. But from the basic tools to all the advanced tools, everything you can do, three little pages. So this, this was a very handy little guide, whether you're uh, just beginning or even if you're uh, experienced and or a master of Photoshop, this was something to have to always refer back to, so it's very handy. I mean, if you compare the book to this, I mean, this 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 was basically laid it all out for you. This was very handy. Now, one of the um, talk about games. One of the earliest games I had was FA eighteen Hornet, and then FA eighteen Hornet Korea. And back when I had my Performance six one six. Maybe this was the game uh, for Macintosh. I mean, this was the best flight simulator, and just, in my opinion, the best game. All-around game. Um, I mean, back, graphics the graphics at the time, this was this is where it was, baby. I mean, there were some PC flight simulators that were better, but as far as on the Macintosh, this was the game. I mean, I played this game to the... I mean, I played it and played it and played it and played it back in the day. Um... And I bought, as some of you know, before I had my back surgery, I bought my Performa about a month and a half, or month, yeah, about a month and a half before I had my back surgery. And I stayed at my grandmother's, and grandfather's house for about three months after the surgery. And then I came home, and was home for another, about six more months, recovering. I mean, it took a long time to recover. I'm still dealing with it, but it, uh, anyway, the point is, after those first three months, I came home, and... As much as I was able, I played this game. I mean, this it was just a great game. Uh, you could use a joystick, but I got good. I got good doing it with and without a joystick. So, back in the day, this I could fly this thing, man. Fly this anyway. Move on, slot it. One of the other software packages that was really, really big for the Macintosh. First of all, it started out with the Apple II, the Apple II, and the Image Writer. When the Image Writer came out, and eventually the Laser Writer, especially the Image Writer, which which came first, Print Shop. Print shop. I don't know if there was something else inside the book. I guess not. Okay, print shop, and then eventually print shop for Macintosh was one of the big. I mean, they used to be in schools a lot um, for everything from making trophy or not trophies, <laughs> trophies, making certificates to making. I mean, it was it was. You make newsletters. You could make a lot of churches. You I know a church. We, they had a version of. Uh, print shop for the uh, PC. Of course, the church was behind time that they had a PC and so they didn't do Macintosh, but um, they had a, the PC version from uh, uh, print shop at church. Um, I mean, a lot of places use this for because it was the first time. I mean, you can see all the different graphics. I mean, it was the first time you could really, especially when it went on the Mac and the, both the Mac and the PC. I mean, Apple II brought it into the public, but. But PCs and Macs, I mean, they really, 
I mean, I would say that Apple II probably did more, but, um, but but the progression is after that PCs and Macs had this. This is one of those programs that really took the Mac into the, you know, uh, because you could, what you saw on the screen is what was printed out. And that was for the first time something really cool. Um, I mean, this wasn't the first program to do that, but this was one of the big ones. And, I mean, it was just neat because you could, you could make new, you know, make a little newsletter with pictures and different fonts. And it was just, it was really cool. And it was used a lot. And then, of course, something to, to, to seed print shop was something I bought. Now, this wasn't as famous as print shop by any means, but it was a good selling program back in the day. It's called Print Explosion Deluxe. Now, there were several versions of Print Explosion. This is the one for Macintosh, but this is the deluxe version. And as you can see, all of these pages are filled with graphics. I mean, there was there's literally, hun I would say, hundreds of thousands of graphics. I mean, the, every subject matter, I'm mean, not every subject matter, but hundreds, and, if not thousands of subject matters. I mean, I mean, I mean, let's look at that. All those are, all these are low res or small versions of the big graphics. And I mean, this book is, I don't know how many pages it is, but it's a lot. Um, I don't even know if it's in here. But I mean, every page is filled with graphics. It's just, it's crazy. I mean, there's, and it came on like 12 CD, 12, 25, I don't know, 24 CDs, CD-ROMs. I mean, because what, what you had to do is you had to, you found, if you found a picture you wanted, uh, what you could do is, for example, this is music. It was on disc number two, and 55 was like the um, folder number, if I remember right. Anyway, it was something like that. And then, then you went to, for example, Animals. It was on disc two, and then folder 147. I mean, it was amazing. It, I mean, it was just one of those things that it gave you almost, I mean, this, of course, this was before the internet really came in. Of course, nowadays, we'd be able to, let's say you're looking for, I don't know, farmer's corn. Here's one for corn. Now, obviously, nowadays, we could go on Google or whatever search engine and look up corn and get you several hundred pictures. But this was really before the internet kicked in. I remember using this with my Performa, and there were some, uh, if I remember right, they had the the print shop area at school where they learned, people learned how to do printing and stuff. They had something, I don't think it was this one, but it was something similar to this because they had two Mac SEs in the print shop and you could go in there and work on that. And they, I know they had three, they had three computers. On, I take that back. They had three computers in, at Columbus North High School in the print shop. And you could go in there and use these things and they had some some of that to, that they used for their stuff. So it's software that was used back in the day in the Power PC days uh, from the classic SEs, Mac SEs to the Mac Classics, and then on to the Power Macs where they used color. So that's some of the software I've used and I've seen used. And I decided to make a little video showing you back in the day. <laughs> The power PC they before the before Max got into Intel, some of the software that was used and uh, how it was used. So until next time, I'm Ronald Moose. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and we God bless you.